time when I tracked the jewel to Skovos. Uh, a long story. But let's just say that between the sea monsters and poison arrows, it managed to slip away again. That must have been frustrating. Oh, it was. But when the theater's ceiling collapsed, I fell right into the lap of my soon-to-be seventh wife. <sighs> she managed to console me. You've had seven wives. Oh, no, no, no. I've been married many more times than that. But never to more than two women at a time. <laughs> never let it be said that I'm greedy. I would like to hear another story from your past. I once traveled with a veteran wagon tribe for six months. It was one of the happiest times of my life. Until, of course, that night I drank too much of that delicious flaming cider. <laughs> I woke up in a beautiful married woman's bed with my trousers on my head uh, so that I wouldn't lose them, of course. Uh, naturally, uh, her husband came in just then. I had to leave in a hurry, of course, but I followed that wagon train for three more months, sneaking into her wagon whenever her husband finally fell asleep. <laughs> Oh dear, that's a very resolute expression you're wearing. You may as well uh, say what you're thinking. I have witnessed too many silent smoking villages and seen too many bodies in blackened pits. If there are gods, I don't believe they would be as happy as you. Time changes everyone, my young friend. In years past, I hunted the jewel with grim determination, always arriving in this destructive wake. You do not behave like a man burdened by tragedy. <laughs> ah, but you see, a tragedy is very heavy. I was once a much larger man with better posture. Still, you jest. <sighs> Should I fall to the ground and grieve instead? Grieve for all I've lost? I would never get up again. And who would hunt for the jewel then? I want to hear more about this dangerous jewel that steals life. What is it really? Oh, all you wish to hear is my most guarded secret. <laughs> well, certainly. If you cannot be trusted, then the world is in trouble, I think. The jewel contains a powerful creature named Durgis. He was trapped within it for terrible crimes against his people. Durgis? I haven't heard of him. Was he a demon? Oh no. He was like us. Only terribly corrupt. I had to trap him. Now a flaw has developed in the jewel. Through it, Dirigis can consume the holder's life. I intend to seal his prison, trapping him in it forever. I conquered my terror long ago. Now I only see what I must do next. I feel a sense of calm. I know you can do it. Have no fear. The things I have crafted will not fail you.
Adria, when did you decide to betray us? Twenty years ago, a great and terrible power drew me to Tristram. But Aiden, Leoric's oh. eldest son, defeated that power and sought to contain it within his own flesh. The Dark Wanderer. It was Diablo I saw within him, and I pledged myself to his service. Now, at last, his grand design comes to fruition. <laughs> Dear Leah, Deckard always suspected your true father was Diablo himself. And now, my daughter, you shall serve as his vessel! I live. But I am more than I once was. The seven evils are now one within me. I am the prime evil. Well done, faithful Adria. Go now, until I call upon you again. Now at last, to my true goal, the one that has always eluded me. The utter destruction of the High Heavens.
Adria has betrayed us and killed her own daughter. Leah was used as a host for Diablo's rebirth as the prime evil. Now all the power of hell answers to him alone. The high heavens themselves break under his assault. For the angels cannot withstand the depth of his corruption. Only I can. Heavens, what have we done? Imperius, you cannot mean to face Diablo again. Your wounds are barely healed. The heavens burn. This is your fault, Tyrion. And you, Nephilim, look below and see what your kind has wrought. After the Valor condemns us, this will be difficult. The Diamond Gates have stood since the light first broke over the high heavens. Now they lie in ruins. Imperius is right. I am the cause of this. Don't let his words deceive you. Diablo planned it all from the very beginning. You are not at fault. Long ago, my brethren and I voted to decide the fate of man. I cast the final vote that spared you from extinction. Now humanity has birthed the prime evil. No, we were betrayed, and now we must make amends. We must stand and fight. Isn't that why you became mortal? If you will not join me, I shall go on alone. But you don't understand. Hope has been silenced. Dire tidings indeed. We are lost. Diablo is too powerful. Always before, the Lords of Hell bickered and worked against each other. They undid themselves. Within Diablo, within the Prime, there is no such division. And now, the halls of the high heavens quake beneath his steps. The prime evil. I can't believe all this has come to pass. Adria played us all for fools. Diablo's influence twisted her inside and out. I suspect we have not seen the last of her. I should have known that Leah's father was the Wanderer. How could I not have sensed Diablo's foul presence within her? I could not either. It is too sad. Adria fooled us all. She sacrificed her own daughter to resurrect Diablo. I will not forget her treachery. But poor Leah. I grieve for her soul. As do I. But we will mourn for her later.